What's going on guys? Xena Shot X here and NTP's back again with another video. Uh because we're back, you know, first video coming back, and it's ironically not a statue. We got some pixel art here for you. Uh Capes of Minecraft. They're pretty much all PC except the one over here. This is Xbox. I'll go through and explain all of them in a second. Um but yeah, I did tell a couple people we were doing a statue for the first video. Uh some of the couple of the people I talked to on Skype. Um, but I did get a little bit caught up on time, and so we ended up just cranking out, uh, these things. Because we planned on making these before, you know, went on the break and stuff. Uh, but yeah, so this is a pretty cool video to come back on, and, um, I like it. It's a really nice addition to the world, looks pretty cool, and made a little custom, uh, cape stand too. So if you want to make all these, uh, go ahead and give me dimensions and stuff for the cape, uh, the cape stand as well. Except the ball on the top. That was kind of just added later, so. Um, alright. So, explaining all the capes. <laughs> Starting at the bottom here, um, and working our way around. Uh, this, this was given. This is from, uh, all this information is from the Minecraft wiki and all that good stuff. Um, this cape was given to, uh, I believe the one millionth, uh, purchaser of Minecraft for the PC. Um, this cape, uh, was given to players on New Year's. Uh, this cape was given uh, to the translators of Minecraft, or something like that, who translate it to like 27 different languages or something like that. Uh, there's like 27 or something of them. Uh, that, I'm just told that from Lucky. <laughs> so that one, don't quote me on that one. Uh, this is the Christmas cape. This is Minecon 2012. This is Team Mojang. And this is Minecon 2011. So... Getting out of my accent. And this, finally, is uh, the only Xbox cape. Uh, we got this on the birthday of Xbox 360 Edition. Some of you may remember it. Lucky actually copied this down. He just looked at it uh, on his back and copied this down uh, the very first day we had that. So this is, I feel like this is really good, really exclusive. You're not really going to see that anything anywhere else, I don't think. So, yeah. So all these are basically the exact same thing. Just exact same dimensions and everything. Just different, uh, you know, stuff. All the detailing and all that. So I'll just start down here where I began explaining and go through all the colors and stuff. So all the capes are 10 by 16. They go 10 this way and 16 up and down. And colors for this, uh, you can obviously see magenta is the main color. Then there's kind of purple there, like kind of the shading into the star. The star is yellow with some uh, spruce wind planks and some gold blocks, or I suppose you can call it butter. And then for the New Year's, gold or butter all the way around. Um, purple for the main color, then you have kind of like sparkles of magenta, and then the little lighter parts uh, are pink, and then the even white, lighter parts of that, obviously those are white. You know, we have the uh, flowing kind of effect on this. Um, if you're going to put this on the back of someone, uh, do it like we have here with like Captain Sparkles, where you put it like right underneath his head, and then uh, you lift the rest of it coming off his back, so you, it actually does kind of come off his back a little bit. This is obviously not as detailed as, you know, we, he, Lucky went back and he re-detailed all that, so, um, we're gonna need to, you know, uh, spruce up some of these capes. Uh, I don't know who's gonna wanna make this one, but it's pretty cool. Um, it's ma made out of all wood, uh, yellow there on the sides, um, spruce wooden planks, and then spruce wood in the middle for the darkest wood, and all that. So, that's wood right there on the top. Come here to the Christmas one. Uh, white all the way around for kinda like the outline. Uh, red for the main color, green for the tree, obviously, and yellow for the kind of the star, and the stump is actually wood, spruce wood. So, uh, I guess starting with Team Mojang, then, uh, brown for the whole thing, uh, and then yellow, and then spruce wood for kind of the, uh, the 3D effect coming off of it on the bottom. Um, let's start with the red one. That one's kind of easier. Alright, so the main color is red, obviously. Um, a little bit of orange detailing, orange wool, uh, and the face of the creeper has some netherrack as well in it, and the creeper face is black. And the uh, Minecon 2012, I want to say 13, but it's not, <laughs> it has uh, blue for the really main color of it. There's some light blue detailing uh, coming from the very top there and uh, on the bottom. And then uh, kind of outlining that on the bottom of the light blue is cyan. And then the pick uh, has yellow in it. You can see that, obviously. 
and then brown, and then spruce wooden planks. Alright, and this is where you're going to need um, lots of colors. So, <laughs> okay. Um, obviously, uh, the bottom of the cake is made of uh, spruce wood and then spruce wooden planks. The, the top outlining is outlined with gray. The frosting on the cake is white with uh, red wool speckles. Or sprinkles, maybe? Cherries? I don't know what they are. They're red. <laughs> the candle is purple and magenta. Uh, kind of, you know, switching back and forth. And the very top, it's a little yellow for the little candle light. Um, there's uh, yellow on the bottom underneath that cape there. Cake. Not cape. Um, rest of it, you know, the main colors, you can obviously tell cyan and light blue. And then orange and green speckles and... Or for confetti, you know. And then purple confetti as well. So, lots of colors there and lots of materials there for that. I'll leave all that in the description though for a list. Uh, as for the dimensions for this lovely cape rack, um, if you will uh, follow me, I don't think you have any choice, if you will follow me over here to uh, this section of the world that we are dubbing Pixelport, ignore all the random designs and stuff, uh, we're just kind of using this as a uh, random build area. Here's where we made the original mock-up of this. Um, you can you can surround it in glowstone. We decided to do that so it would kind of glow at night. Um, but what also looked good was uh, birch wood and planks. That looked really good at first, and uh, then we decided to change it to uh, glowstone so it would glow, you know, at night. So, um, not excluding kind of the feet of the pole. The pole itself, you know, starting like right here at this glowstone, will go 40 all the way to the top. And where this first uh, circle starts, it goes up 16. So from the very base here, from this. Uh, it goes up 16. It's obviously a 2x2 two two thing all the way to the top. You can spiral it however you really want. It comes out 2 on each side here. And then the fences come out 4. Alright? On uh, all 4 of these, they come out 4 on each side. And then uh, this goes across 6. And then this goes out uh, 2 more than that. So I uh, that would be 8, I believe? It looks like... No, it's 10. I didn't actually count that on the nether rack fence part. So this actually goes out 10, uh, as long as the cape. So these are your, like, little cape holders, you know. So 6, and then 3, 6, 3, 6, you know. And then uh, I think the top, we ended up making the same, even though this was made uh, differently originally. Um, but just make that pretty much the same, so you have two spheres. And then for the feet, it's very simple. Um, just kind of... Uh, visualize the feet as a 10 by 10 square and then uh, you just make like these the corners have uh, four in each you know you can kind of see it these are two by two and then it lifts two off the ground and this is a uh, a four by four square um, that is too thick so I can't really give a, uh, a building tutorial on how to make that you just kind of have to look at it and see it um, and kind of visualize that if you want to make the rack um, so, but yeah, materials needed for that. Spruce wood and uh, netherrack fence, and uh, if you are doing the glowstone swirl, then glowstone, and if you're doing the birch wooden plank swirl, then birch wooden planks. So, I have talked a very long time. I <laughs> uh, explained a lot of things. Hopefully, it was very helpful, and uh, I made this video enjoyable. It's very late. It's, it's uh, currently going at 5 in the morning, so I'm going to need to get some sleep. Um, <laughs> Jesus, it's so late. I do these things so late. Um, and you wonder why, people wonder why I upload so late. Yeah, it's because I do these things like last minute in the very early morning. So, um, it's the only time I feel like doing it. So, sorry. I, I, I don't sleep. I make, I finish making videos, you know? So, that's just my thing. That's how I, pe people read books. I finish making YouTube videos for you guys. So, um, hey, we all have hobbies. <laughs> so, um, hopefully you enjoyed the video. I'm sorry for those who were expecting a statue, but I hope you, uh, did get something from the capes. And maybe, uh, you guys want to add these to maybe a statue of you. You know, you made a statue of you and you were wondering how to add one of these capes. Well, here you go. This is that video on how to make, uh, one of these very pristine, detailed capes, um, for you guys. So, yeah, remember dimensions, uh, 10 by 16, all that good stuff. Um... Alright guys, well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I'll leave an annotation to the last pixel art, which I believe was that armor on the wall over there. Um, I hope this was helpful. 
we do want to do more, you know, pixel art and stuff for you guys because pixel art's pretty cool and uh, statues uh, tend to get a little bit boring. So we want to mix it up a little bit and give you guys something different, something else that's really helpful. So uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the pixel art. So thank you for watching, and as always, we'll see you for the next one.